Welcome back to another episode of the Crossbar Channel. We have quite a few topics today. We have Champions League talk, semi final. We have Europa League talk, uh, quarter final playing right now. And also, we have a big news in Italy with Juventus. So, without wasting any more time, let's roll. All right, so before we get into the Champions League and the Europa League, we're going to start in Italy with um, Juve. Juve got deducted 15 points at the beginning of the season. Well, mid-beginning of the season, they got deducted 15 points. Uh, they were accused of fraud, um, you know, masking the let's say the account, you know, and now hiding and also making some certain transactions bigger than they actually were or smaller than they actually were to get around the f uh, financial fair play. Um, so they got kind of punished. 15 point, everybody thought, some people thought it was a fair punishment, 15 point, some other people thought, nah, that was too easy on Juve, especially since Juve uh, are already been, you know, punished before, they got really good to Serie B uh, a few years ago, so saying that Juve was again in the middle of some scandalous stuff like that, people were thinking they might get sent back to Serie B altogether, but they got 15 point deducted at the beginning of the season, and that was it, and life went on on the Serie A, where Napoli is leading the way, and then today we found out the news, Juve actually got the, the suspension, those 15 points deducted, back to count on the league table. So Juve had appealed the sanction, and looks like after all review, all the consideration, the Italian board, uh, uh, the sporting board, decided to give Juve the 15 point back, which had a big impact on the league table. So when we went to bed last night, the league table was as followed. Napoli was first. Still is 75 points. Lazio Roma was second, 61 points. As Roma third, 56. AC Milan fourth, 53. Inter Milan fifth, 51 points. Now that Juve gets the 15 point back, Juve jumped all the way to the third place. They were seventh yesterday. Even this morning they were still seventh. But now they are third place. So still Napoli first, 71 points. Lazio Roma still second, 61. Only two points behind is Juve third now. Qualify for the Champions League. It's very important as a big club for like Juve. Not being the Champions League next year would have been a huge issue. Um, then as Roma is fourth, Milan fifth, Inter sixth. So what that means for the Italian league is now Juve is back in the mix and the third. So Inter, AC Milan, AS Roma, and Juve. And let also put Lazio a little bit. They're gonna be fighting for the last three position. Lazio not necessarily safe. They are safe on the fourth place I would say because the ten point. Ahead of Inter Milan, which, which is Inter Milan is six right on the table, so we're gonna see how that you know how that shapes. We have eight games remaining in the Serie A. Juve is back third in the Serie A. What a bummer for Inter Milan and AC Milan and Roma that were fighting for the top four spot in the, for the Champions League position. So, do you think it's fair for Juventus to get the 15 point back this season? Could they have let the season finish and then give them 15 point back next year? I don't think that would be the good way of uh, resolving the issue i think to me i think it's fair if after reviewing everything they see juve innocent so far they say the suspension has been suspended so it's not even like juve is totally in the clear they just say that the sanction that they are giving them is suspended so they still have to do one more review and one more appeal uh, that could get juve those points reducted back but as of now juve is third in this area in italy so yeah, it's going to be a dogfight. Juve is not really informed now. Now that they're third, I kind of feel like it's a double-edged sword, really. When they were seventh, if their season had went to waste, anybody, everybody could say, yeah, it's because of 15-point reductive. Now that they're third, if they don't make top four by the end of the season, it's going to be completely the player's fault and the coach can allegedly be fired for that, you know, because as much as you can make a case where well, we only finished six or seven because we have 15-point deducted and messed up our season, now they get all this point back, you have to make top four if you're Juve. No excuses. So it's going to be interesting to see the Serie A coming you know, back um, this weekend. Like I say, eight more games remaining. Napoli first, Lazio second. Juve is now back third. AS Roma fourth, AC Milan, Inter Milan. We have a big six. We only have four spots. If you take Napoli out, because Napoli is going to finish first anyways. We have five teams for three spots. 